So obviously there's been a very successful and popular film made about car racing. Right. So what made you think that airplane racing could be also successful? You know, uh, that's a great question. Uh, first of all, air racing is very popular around the world. But then also for me, it gave an opportunity to take this small town little guy and gave him an excuse to actually get out there and see the world. So we sort of used that as sort of a platform to help sort of drive the story. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was, that, it was taking advantage of that opportunity of it's big in all certain regions and also it was a great it was a great hurdle to throw in front of him because all he's ever done is just fly back and forth over this little 40 acre spot his whole life. He's flown a thousand miles but he's never flown anywhere. Yeah. And now he gets a chance to fly around the world. For the first time ever, we have a crop duster in the race. Well, he's gonna die. Dusty, you're going up against the best racers in the world. I'm afraid of heights. That airplane needs some help. Y'all know that, right? You have a lot of different kind of planes in the movie, from like fighter planes to uh, crop dusters. Right. Um, what kind of aviation research did you have to do? All kinds. Yeah. Really all kinds. And, it, and you know, being, being passionate about aviation my whole life, as you probably know, um, it gave me a great opportunity to get out there and meet not only a lot of pilots from around the world, but also see all different types of aircraft. And it was, uh, you know, we were able to bring that experience of talking to those people and seeing those airplanes and, and implementing those details into the film that makes it truthful in so many ways. Like you said, you come from an aviation background. So is this a movie you've always wanted to do? I've always wanted to do. I didn't know it would ever happen, to be perfectly honest. But yeah, you know, my dad was a pilot. My grandfather was a pilot. They passed that love of avi aviation on to me as a little kid. I was drawing airplanes with my dad as he would talk about them. I've kept several of those drawings. It's something I've wanted to do my whole life. That love of drawing turned into a love of animation, and that love of animation led to the films of Walt Disney. Yeah. So then, here we are today, where those two worlds have collided, where we have an animated airplane being produced by Walt Disney Pictures. That's sort of a personal dream come true. Priyanka Chopra and Ishani. Oh my gosh. How did you come across her for the role? Yeah, it was, it was, I think it was fate. Um, you know, uh, part of what's fun about being a directing, uh, or being a director on a movie is you're involved in the casting in every respect. So you sort of have this wish list of people you want to go to. And, and I was at the point in time where I knew, I knew I had this exotic racer and I wanted to embrace a Pan-Asian female. Um, and so I, I did a lot of research, a lot of looking, and I watched a lot of Bollywood movies in the process, which was a great process for research, right? I mean, it was incredible, a lot of fun. And I came across Dostana, and I'm like, whoa, wait, wait a second. So not only is she just gorgeous, we can put that aside, but she is truly talented. I've, I've often said she is a triple threat. She can sing, she can dance, and man, can she act. And when you see her voice with this exotic airplane, it matches and it feels organic. What? Oh man, that's nasty. I owe you my life. Are you crying? I don't cry, I'm British.